you can pick peaks in a particular area by pressing the shift and control or on the map the command buttons and then dragging your mouse over that area. You get a blue box and your peaks are picked for you. If you decide afterwards actually you didn't want to pick those peaks, you can always undo the action. Simply press Ctrl Z or on a Mac it would be Command Z. An alternative way to pick peaks in a defined area is to type PP or go to Spectrum, pick peaks, pick ND peaks. You can select here which peak list you would like to pick your peaks into, whether you want positive or negative peaks picked or both, and then you can set the limits by default. Uh, it is the whole spectrum that is selected, but I'm going to choose this slightly smaller area here. And then you go to Find Peaks, and your peaks are picked for you. If you want to pick peaks manually, place them manually, press Shift and Control or Command, and then just click the mouse where you would like to place those peaks. If you've got lots of peaks that you would like to place manually, you can type MM and your mouse will go into the peak picking mode and then you can just place lots of peaks as and where you would like. Type MM again to exit the mouse mode. You can always um, select these peaks and then type SE and this will then automatically place those peaks on the nearest maximum or minimum. Remember that all the peaks are picked which are visible in your spectrum. So if I were to pick this peak here, if I select that area, these small negative peaks on the outside are also picked. So obviously one option would be to instead pick a slightly better region. Um, another alternative is simply to go to contours and then remove the negative contours from my display and then I can just easily pick that peak properly. Remember that if you'd like to get rid of a peak, you can always right click on a peak and then go to delete peaks. You could do that for one peak or for many peaks. You may have noticed that when I tried to pick these two overlap peaks earlier with the area peak pick, no peaks were actually picked. Although it looks as though there ought to be two distinct maxima here. This is due to one of the parameters set in the project preferences. You can go to project, preferences, or use control, comma, or on a Mac, command, comma, to open this dialog box. Under the spectrum tab, we find this parameter peak picking drop, which is given as a percentage. Essentially, it's just the percentage by which the peak has to drop down from its maximum in order to be recognized as a peak. By default it's set to 10, if I were now to set it to 5 and then try peak picking these two peaks again, this time the peaks will be recognised. Peak picking in a 3D is just the same as doing it in a 2D spectrum. You may sometimes however find that you try and pick a peak and nothing happens. That's most likely because you're not in the right plane. So try and navigate to the plane where the actual maximum of the peak is and try again and this time hopefully your peak will be picked. It's also possible to peak pick 3D spectra based on a 2D root spectrum that's shown in our separate tutorial on picking and assigning peaks from a root spectrum.